Here's my Nest thermostat giving me a low battery error. That's because the battery um, that's in here, it doesn't have a C wire in there. You can see when you have four wires, it should have five. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and put a wire so it can charge itself and not rely entirely on the battery. So every few weeks, so these last about four weeks, which is kind of troublesome because if you're out of town and you're away and it goes and it dies completely, then it could sh shut down. Even if it's not plugged in, it you can see it's starting up. So that's what probably runs all the that's what runs the software and stuff within the nets itself. So just came on and it's the Wi-Fi will connect in a short while. So now here we go. So we have it working again. So for the next couple of weeks, it's gonna work until the battery dies and I have to change it in the next so until the battery dies and I have to change it in the next three, four weeks. So I've done this before on my Nest thermostat downstairs. I went ahead, I got myself an adapter, and this is the adapter right here. I will leave the link for you guys down below. And this is a lot easier than going and try to hire somebody or try to um, run an entire new cable all the way through the house, depending on, but, so for me, this was a lot easier. You can see the information on there, the output and the input and all that stuff. So it's basically a plug, you plug it in. This is the end of it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just get the ends, get the ends ready, if about a quarter inch. So we're just getting everything ready so when we, when we open up the nest, we can just start wiring up. Now if you look here, you can see at the bottom here, I drill a hole because I have, a, I have a, a plug right behind there. They give you a lot of cables so this can go far. We're gonna turn the power off on the nest and start doing our connection. I'm gonna have this cable come past for here. So I'm gonna pass this in. This one is a bit different from the one that I have downstairs. So we're gonna put the wire in the C and the R. The C, you can see there's nothing there. So, I'm just gonna push that in. You can pull that, a little excess. And this one here, we're gonna use the R. One right here. We're gonna share it. So, I think we can press this down and take this out. I'm gonna put this one first, because it's a, and then I'm gonna force this one in. I'm gonna use this pliers there. And there we go. And push it in, and there we go, that should work. And this, I can either cut a hole in there and bring that right in the corner there and hide that down on the side or I can figure out the way after. So I'm going to turn the power back on. Okay, so the power is back on, no Wi-Fi detected. We're going to push that in. Here we go. It's on, it's cooling. Now we have to check our wiring. wiring info so it's saying that the CYN is not plugged in okay so when you open up the Nest app and you find your thermostat you're gonna go into settings and go to thermostat and then you want to go all the way down to wiring so it's all the way down there and tap on that and you're gonna see all the wirings that you have on there and you can see right there I have one two three four five I saw a four so now we have five on there and when you get in there you will see that it might say two of them is empty uh, so you want to go ahead and update your wiring and tap on update wiring click on next so you click in add or remove with us we were we were adding so you click add and then you tell it which wire that that you're putting in and then you go on from there, guys. And that's how I did it. I update my wire. Everything is in. I'm going to go down to my settings. 
and let's go down to I guess equipment and then wiring info and you can tap on that and it, you see everything is blue right now because I had this already set up in my Google Home app that's why they're showing the the ones that wasn't connected so we have everything connected now okay guys so we're done we have everything going down going through the other side and on the other side and if you can see it but we have the same plastic covering going down and we have the plug right here going up to the plug and that's it battery status is good and if we go back up here if we go to wine info all our wine is working just because of this adapter that i have on the other side guys guys this is charlie i'll see you guys in the next in the next video